Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Tarot. I'm here to do your daily energy read for today, January 9th, 2020. All right, family, tapping into the energy for today. First, I felt um, movement and abundance energy, and then I saw two eight, so that's double movement and abundance energy. Then I was piped the song, it's an old school gospel song, and I'll link it in the description box below. I expect a miracle every day. God will make a way out of no way. Then I saw lightning in my mind's eye. Lightning is about an awakening, a sudden illumination, enlightenment, um, destruction of ignorance. Then I heard the word replenishing. What was lost will be replaced. Then I heard favor. Now, in order to manifest, you must have favor with the universe. So, I was also told to tell you about my sub count. So, I mentioned in one of the videos that uh, I think after the uh, Queen of Wands Divided video, I lost a lot of subscribers or a noticeable amount. I wouldn't say a lot, but a noticeable amount. And um, this goes along with this replenishing thing and for i've noticed that for every one subscriber that i lost i've gained eight more eight more that are in alignment with my mission that are in alignment and able to receive the messages so that's a plus so when god is for you who can be against you keep pushing keep being that beautiful you now um what else? It was one other thing. Mm, replenishing. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. About it being an upgrade uh, for losing subscribers, then gaining eight times that amount, and those being in alignment with me was an upgrade. And so anything that was lost will be replaced. And not only will it be replaced, it'll be an upgrade from what was lost. So that's the message on today. Let's find out what it's about. Holy Father, Heavenly Spirit, angels of love and light, you are welcome here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a daily energy read for my fifth element tarot family. Please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Um, I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot deck for the entire read. And I'm noticing that my words, even my prayer, was different. Um, so let's see what this message is about. Wrapped in a yellow ribbon. Yellow is the color for the solar plexus chakra. Mani Pura, City of Gems, all about strength and power. So let's see. What messages do we have on today for Fifth Element Tarot as a collective? Messages for Fifth Element Tarot as a collective. Messages for Fifth Element Tarot as a collective for today. Flipping over in the deck. January 9th, 2020. Messages for Fifth Element Tarot. Flipping over again. Thank you. For today, January 9th. Thank you. 2020. This will be my last pass for messages. Thank you for today. Thank you. Masculine energy. Thank you. Ooh, I said last pass. This is supposed to be a daily energy read, and we got almost a 10-card spread. So, what we have coming out face up, uh, everything else is face down. The ones that flipped over in the deck are face up, so no by all involved. So we have Empress Energy and Archangel Gabriel. It reads, time to act 
upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious and abundant resources. Card number three, threes are about connection and communication, specifically with the angelic realm. So, abundant resources goes along with the double eights that I saw. Then the six of Gabriel, six of wands energy. Congratulations, you, you, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, or promotions. Yes. And all of this coming face down, but this card came out as masculine energy on the floor. Right side, unknown. The chariot, positive movement forward is the traditional meaning of this card. Archangel Metatron, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. Yes. From the bottom, unknown. Nine of Michael, this is nine of swords energy. This is about uh, being up at night, can't sleep, stress, worry, and anxiety. Cart reads, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Nines are about growth and expansion. Unknown. Another sword card. Thought again king of michael king of swords principled rational ambitious respected wisdom and objectivity are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication at the center unknown the emperor, so we have a divine pair, the empress and the emperor, Archangel Uriel. Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So we already know that this emperor is having positive movement forward with the chariot. This was emperor energy. It's the only card that came out on the emperor's side. Unknown. The star card, Archangel Jophiel, a dream come true, believing yourself, the end of a difficult situation. Card number 17 reduces to an eight. Eights are again about movement and abundance. Also unknown. Six of Raphael, embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. This is Six of Cups energy. So all about a nostalgic love, a relationship from the past. At the bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Gabriel energy. Seven of Gabriel is Seven of Wands energy, all about standing your ground, defending a viewpoint. The card reads, stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. So this entire reading is based on someone claiming their personal power. Not only claiming your personal power, but ending something, the world, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. Some sort of tangible information that you can use represented by the page of Ariel, which is the page of pentacles was under that one. Okay, so quite a few, but a beautiful spread. All right, so some sort of Empress, Six of Gabriel, Six of Wands is victory and success, positive movement forward. Someone, the Emperor, up at night with Nine of Swords energy, but needing to be objective and use his wisdom, 
stay in his integrity, a situation that calls for open and honest communication. He's taking charge of the situation and making ambitious plans. To be on his path, it's a dream come true. The end of a difficult situation with this nostalgic love, this love from childhood, a love of the past, all based in standing someone's ground, but standing up for what you believe in, having confidence, claiming your personal power. Hmm, beautiful. I'm going to Kipper, 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 Kipper. Kipper is wrapped in green, greens for the heart chakra. Anahata is the Sanskrit word, getting to the heart of the matter. So where can we start? Time to act on your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious, and abundant resources for this empress. A victory and success card. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotions. Then positive movement forward, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. Let's see what this night of swords energy is about that the emperor is experiencing now remember the chariot card came out as emperor energy so he, she's winning he's having positive movement forward but something has him up at night unable to sleep and stress worry and anxiety tell the story of nine of swords energy for the emperor why is the emperor and nine of swords energy Stress, worry, sleepless thinking, nights, and anxiety about unexpected income. Unexpected income comes out in a challenge. It's central to the issue. Um, unexpected income is a lottery winning. It's a bonus at work. It's a promotion, which one of the card reads. So this promotion of this empress Hmm, spiritually, I just heard it. Is causing this em this emperor to be in nine of swords energy. Wow. Then coming out on the feminine side, he feels like it's putting her off her journey. So what he thinks and what you're knowing is doesn't line up. And then unknown. Yep, your thoughts. I just said it. What you're thinking. Your new thoughts. Yep, don't line up. It's a challenge for this emperor. And it causes um, him to stress. Anything else for Nine of Swords energy? Ooh. All right. Mm. So the emperor comes out again. This is the emperor in, the, in this deck, the wealthy man. But before that, I have cards falling out on the feminine side of the floor all face up i want to make sure i got everything yeah so two cards face up from the bottom the emperor and then we have feminine energy is reversing her concern <laughs> you hear that candle in the family room that's quickly this is like um, nearby in the near future. This came out in the center of the table. So yeah, this emperor is struggling with this new journey. He feels like it puts you off your path. But you see, your thoughts are in the upright. They're not reversed. They're in the upright. So that's what Nine of Swords for the emperor looks like. Interesting. Growth is scary, especially if you've allowed someone to take the reins and guide you and um, give you all of your thinking. And the moment you break free of that, 
Yep, it's going to cause some anxiety for the person that was guiding you. King of Michael, not if they're in high vibration, it won't. Uh, principle, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. This emperor needing to speak his truth. Tell the story of King of Michael, please. Why is it here? <clears throat> King of Michael, why is it here? Thank you. Woo, woo, woo. I told you. <laughs> this comes out right in the center. Okay. Sudden wealth in reverse. Okay, yes, yeah, a challenge for him. This change. His expectations. Who? The main male. It reverses him completely. Yes, because you're having your own thinking. You're executing your own thoughts. Yes, yes, he's struggling. Coming out as a challenge right here on being on your path and Six of Cups, childhood, nostalgic stuff. As a challenge. Uh-huh, message. Yep, getting information. It's a challenge. It's okay. Everybody re adjusts to a new normal very differently. It doesn't mean that because someone is struggling with your new normal that you stop evolving. That's not what that means. You pray for his enlightenment. And you continue on your quest. Yeah, because the star is here. You're a dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So let's see what the star card looks like. Tell the story of the star. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Because what you get out of the situation is you. <laughs> and your truest purest form on your path. Tell the story of the star. Thank you. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. A challenge to stay together, but somebody three concerned and being on that, I cannot make it up. Okay, so this is what I have coming out first. Courthouse and a challenge. That's some sort of legal separation, legal in the spiritual or in the 3D realm. So severing of ties is a challenge, unknown, reversing a message of concern. So someone was stressing about severing ties at a point, but there is some inner knowing, some growth in who you are and the power that you hold and the gifts that the universe is ready to rain on you that reverses your concern about this situation. However, coming out on the mat, excuse me, on the feminine side of the table, although I feel it as masculine energy, is concern in reverse. Someone's concern being reversed and not only their concerns being reversed. No, I'm sorry, yeah, they just corrected me. This is feminine energy, concern being reversed and on your path. Like I can't make it up. And this pathway card fell directly on nine of cups. Embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. And when I say new friends, that's, uh, it vibrates deeply. A new circle puts you right on your path. Although there's some concern about severing ties, um, reversing concern for you, being on your path, on your path, on your path, clarifying itself. So double confirmation. Now let's see what the six of Raphael looks like. And I'm told this is the last card to clarify. So six of Raphael, why is it here? 
tell the story of Six of Raphael. Flipping over in the deck, you cannot make it up. Reversing, toiling, and laboring. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Toiling and laboring is, a, is something that is not fun to do. It's something that uh, you work very hard at and get little out of. That's what toil and labor means in the upright. Calling on the star, knocking out this anxiety. On your path, unknown, the unofficial person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this emperor that you're attached to, although you appear as a divine pair in here, the empress and the emperor. So that just means that you've both, both reached that status. But with this, the unofficial person, you're linked to the wrong emperor and he's linked to the wrong empress. There's no, I can't make it up. So, and there's something in the past here about this unofficial person. And when I say something in the past, this comes out. He's really not an emperor. That's what it is, trickery. Came out as an emperor, but he's really not. He's the unofficial person, the unwealthy man. And you've been toiling and laboring in some sort of six of cups nostalgic relationship with him <clears throat> your inner knowing your new knowing your strengthening of your knowledge your gifts tapping on tapping in is causing him pause because he realizes that you are waking up and the stronger your knowledge gets the stronger you become last pass for the six of cups and nothing additionally comes out. So there we have it. Beautiful people. Let's get us a card of advice for navigating this energy. So I was told to look at the bottom of the deck. And at the bottom of the deck is occupation. So you go from toiling and laboring at something. Something arduous. Something you don't like. Something that causes you lots of labor. And you get little out of. To working. Occupy, occupation, eight of pentacles energy, diligently mastering something. And it's at the base of this deck. Yes, absolutely. Seven, 34 reduces to a seven, all about being on your God journey, all, the way, all about going to your higher consciousness, your higher self. So that was beautiful. I'm going to... Um, I'll use a mystical shaman oracle wrapped in red. Red's about uh, the root chakra. Matlahara is the Sanskrit word. Base of your spine. Located at your tailbone, your coccyx. Conf uh, excuse me, confirmation. Hmm. Affirmation I use is... I am deeply rooted. I am sacred ground. One card for navigating this energy in the spread for my FET family, FET element through for January 9th, 2020. One card, please, for navigating. Thank you. It's out quick. Yes, yes, I love synchronistic events. Yes, yes. All my Raven stuff today. The journey, we've been talking about it the whole time. It makes him afraid that you're on your journey. Card number 30, excuse me, 29, reducing to an 11. 11, 11 is about super, super manifestation power. Yes, double eights and double 11s, who can stop that? I'm looking for the book, 29, and I'm gonna read the entire Thing, the essence, the invitation, and the medicine. I'm just smiling from ear to ear. It is such a beautiful thing to witness someone step into their power. Yes. Okay, so the essence. The journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday. It's a call to be hermit-like and to go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. 
There are no maps to the territory you'll be exploring, no marked paths or roads. Excuse me, no marked paths or road signs. The invitation. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh, the time to embark on the great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true, even when you're not sure where you are going. It's, an, it's the departure that is most important. If you miss the bout, a great opportunity will be lost, and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. The medicine. The journey is calling you, but the timing is premature. Collecting postcards or fantasies of where you want to go may take over your focus and make you miss your destiny. Other things must be completed first, or you may still be attached to knowing the destination. Remember that the point of the journey is not the destination, it's who you will become as you are transformed along the way. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. Beautiful message. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, for this beautiful and concise message on today. Family, I'm encouraged and you should be too. This was beautiful. Yes, it makes people uncomfortable when you grow out of their shell, the shell that they placed you in. But does that mean you stop growing? Absolutely not. Be uncomfortable as you may. My growth will continue. So I leave you with that today. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me. Please don't forget to check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this reading, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next time, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste. Okay, guys, I'm sitting here getting our angel numbers together and the ravens come. Not one, not two, but three. So I believe that there was this message a couple of days ago um, and only one raven was there. I got the message and uploaded the video. Now, since then, three have been uh, following me, but they today, after I did this video, as soon as I finished, I felt the presence. I walked to the window and shortly thereafter, they came one at a time. So instead of them normally being here three, there, it was one at a time. So yes, somebody is stepping into their personal power. Also, this person, see the amount of purple cards in this spread. Purple is my indication specifically in this deck of someone who is highly intuitive. So one, two, three, four, out of what six seven eight cards so half of the cards are purple cards so this person you're highly intuitive and you may notice ravens around if you haven't start paying attention but there is a special assignment for you and you stepping into your power is divinely ordered so um and i have a feeling that is this message is for quite a few in our family so I hope this helps. Namaste.